Hey everybody, it's Marcus. Thanks for coming back for the September 2022 monthly update of my Tesla solar panels and power wall system. It's the update we've all been waiting for. We've had our system for about a year now, so we've got that historical data to look at going forward. Uh, I'm going to look at both the year before, and I'm also going to look at the month before and try and show you a picture of what's going on. Try and explain what's happening. You know, maybe it was hotter that month. We used more AC, etc. Kind of explain those numbers for you. So hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, this month, what happened? It was a historical heat wave around here in Northern California. We had about two weeks of 110 degrees plus. Uh, so our AC was, AC was running nonstop. We also had virtual power plant events. There were eight individual events during the month of September. We sent back about 240 kilowatt hours to help out the grid during those times. Um, it's actually kind of interesting to see as the uh, temperatures get hotter and hotter, your panels are getting less and less efficient. So it is normal to see those production numbers coming down in September. That's a function of many different things. The days are getting shorter, the sun's you know, setting, it's no longer eight you know, when the sun goes down and maybe closer to seven. Um, the sun's angle is actually not as straight up in the sky, so you're just gonna get less from that too uh, in addition. Um, so, going forward, we got some housekeeping things here with the, uh, the season starting to change. You may want to check out your panels, see if you have any leaves on them, see if there's anything obstructing them with stuff starting to fall. You want to make sure there aren't any animals that are storing any acorns or anything else there too. Just make sure everything is running nice. For us, we live in a farming community, so as they harvest stuff, we tend to get dust and dirt all over our panels, so sometimes you may just want to hose them down. Uh, clean them off and uh, you know get them running in tip-top shape there. So uh, with that being said as always you can self-refer yourself for a Tesla solar panel power walls or solar roof system uh, Use that link that you have in your loot box. Otherwise if you need one you can look down below I've got my link there that gets you 9,000 points currently in Tesla's shop. That's where you can buy merchandise, you can buy goodies, you can buy uh, downloads like full self-driving or enhanced autopilot or an acceleration boost for your car. So if you're interested in getting into a system, use my referral link down below. Let me know. Before we get into the data, I've got some things to explain. Our system was installed in August of 2021, however it wasn't installed working, so we actually had an engineer that needed to come out to fix it and replace some parts, and that happened on September 3rd of 2021. So our numbers here aren't going to include the first couple days of September. We also didn't get PTO for our system until late October, about the week before Halloween. So our grid numbers are going to be positive for September and you know October because we weren't actually sending anything back. And our production numbers may be a little bit lower just because when our batteries are full, solar does shut off uh, when you can't send back to the grid. So here we go with the data. As you can see here, house usage for September 2021 was 1,560 kilowatts. Now this was a full month. Our system was running the whole entire time tracking house usage, so this isn't truncated by the system not being activated for a couple days later. As you can also see here in September, our usage was 1330 kilowatt hours, so about 230 kilowatt hours less. I'm not really sure how to explain this one away. I think what probably happened is in 2021 when we got our system, we just cranked the AC and used the heck out of it just because it was new. We wanted to see how it worked and what we could do with it. So I'm going to use that excuse. Uh, coming up here, we have solar. In September of 2021, we had 1,508.7 kilowatt hours produced. Now this is going to be one of those where it's shortened. We were short two and a half or three days of solar production. So you can assume we probably would have seen, you know, maybe 60, 70 more kilowatt hours of production. Now in September 22, however, we only produced 1,435 kilowatt hours. Uh, what's interesting to see here, you know, 60 kilowatt hours less than the, the year before, roughly 160 or so probably if we had a full month to look at. But August was 1,851 kilowatt hours. So that's actually a 22% decline from August to September of 2022 here. 
that's what I was saying about the days being shorter, the sun not being at the same angle. You're just going to be producing less. Um, that being said, with the solar production for the month from September 21 to 22, it's normal to just see a little bit less. Weather was likely a bit different. Here's another thing with the temperature being warmer uh, for September 2022, so that can actually knock down that efficiency also. Um, Next up is gonna be the power walls. In September 2021, we used 835 kilowatt hours from those power walls. In September 22, 710 kilowatt hours. Now, 710 kilowatt hours in September 2022. However, 240 of those are from that virtual power plant. If you look at that graph there, you can kind of see what our normal usage is, is about 20 to 25 kilowatt hours of battery usage that we would use from sundown to sun up. Um, using that virtual power plant event, you know, we discharge the whole battery, so that usage is going to be higher than what we normally use. So I estimate it probably would have been about 100 kilowatt hours less or so had we not had those virtual power plant events. And now the interesting Great use. Uh, September 2021, we had 157.3 kilowatt hours from the grid. Now, looking, looking at that graph, 90 kilowatt hours of that was when our system wasn't functioning. So roughly 60% of that was the first three days of the month. When we had the system functioning, we really didn't use too much, just kind of spurts here and there. Again, we didn't have PTO, so we were staying fully behind the meter, not sending anything back. Uh, in September 22, you'll see we were actually 18.2 kilowatt hours positive from the grid. Positive, we, you know, we didn't send back, which is what we would have done for, you know, many of the summer months before. That can be attributed to production is going down from month to month. You're just not making as much. The AC with it being super hot was just running all month. So that's just gonna add up. The, the virtual power plants here, I don't really think that they affected our net grid use because when you think about it, even though you're discharging those batteries of the grid, you're getting credits for that and then whatever you're using from the grid afterwards is being subtracted from those credits. So that shouldn't really make a net difference. Kind of cool to see. Anyways, I hope you like the, uh, the new look at the data here. Let me know if there's anything I can do to improve it, anything you'd like to see or hear about. And as always, hope to see you next month. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.